Krishna just now told me, you can't talk, but I talk through you. Mukam karoti vachalam angum langayati kiri. Yet krupa tamaham bandhi paramananda madhava. See, when I say some statements, probably you are hearing for the first time, you should travel with me and see what it means. Otherwise, you will not get the benefit of that statement. For example, right now I'm going to tell you something. You have to think, and if you have difficulty, you you have to come back to because these are all very important subtle points the finite should have an infinite origin because if one finite has another finite origin that finite where did, where from it came? It should have another finite. That is not accepted in logic. It says, anavastha dosha, infinite deregress, where you cannot arrive at the origin. So finite should have its origin in infinite. If it is infinite, it can never become finite. Nothing can come out of it. Then how do we all manifest? What happened to us? Here the Shastra says, what happened in your dream? You were sleeping. Who were all these people? You were friend, you were enemy. Your father-in-law, your mother-in-law, who are all these people? Who are all these people in your dream? You are the one. They are many. Where from they came? You only split yourself into many through your mind. You only split yourself into many through your mind. So was Bhagavan. He split himself into the endless names and forms through his own power called Maya, which is our mind. Maya and mind both are same. Maya and mind both are same. So now, who are we? We are his dream character to take time. We are his dream character. Please listen very carefully. And the best of us, the most comfortable ones, the people who have the luxury of uh, having high ego, right? Even they, are all the time challenged by various limitations. Have you seen two big people struggling to get attention in the videos, in TVs and all that? Very big people. That's all our stature. We still need several things from the world and we are dependent on them. Where is our peace? As long as you, you are dependent on others. As long as you are dependent on others, you have no peace. So we have to get out of this dream and recognize the waker that we are. This is called religion. The word religion 
is religate religate go back to your origin trace back to your origin that's called religion wake up wake up know that you are god why are you behaving like a dog that's what religion says so this is our primary goal in life we have several goals first we think we need this we need that to be happy kama for that we run after burial yes. things artha these two cannot give you happiness if you are not disciplined dharma we run 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 but it is an endless chase it's an endless chase so someone who is revolting against this helpless running someone who is revolting against this helpless running goes to a master and wakes up and wakes up so that is the ultimate goal and duty beyond the three these are called trivarga dharma artha kama coming within the limits of gunas sattva rajotama these are all binding means finite make you dependent because they are outside you anything outside you anything outside you cannot give you all the time happiness it will give you insecurity why did uh, uh, aishu's mother in law come to the talk she want to know what aishu is doing <laughs> right so that is what it is as long as paratantra depending on outside thing so one has to be swatantra how will it be swatantra when you depend only on yourself how how is that possible when you discover you are the waker not the dreamer you are the god you are the god so that is the ultimate goal of life so that is called nishchaya sapala but one who doesn't take care of the relatives one who doesn't take care of the relatives cannot get the absolute if you don't take care of your relatives they won't allow you to listen peacefully so dharma artha kama have to be taken care that pursuit is called abhyudaya that results is called abhyudaya phala the ultimate goal is called nishraya sapala these three are called trivarga the ultimate is called apavarga beyond these vargas also apavarga means papa right bhaya papa babha ma that is called pavarga himavindu will tell us better right apavarga right papa bhaya maranam all these things beyond that is freedom liberation beyond that is freedom liberation nishraya sa so you need both in the beginning stage as a means abhyudaya later on nishraya sa so you should get the right thing which doesn't fail you which abhyudaya will lead to nishraya sa you cannot afford to lose this chance of a rare opportunity of being born as a human being what is so great about human being you know devatas cannot get liberation 
from Swarga. They have to come back to Earth. Only on Earth, human birth, you can get liberation. Devatas can only enjoy their punya there. People who have done Papa, they will enjoy in Naraka, suffer in Naraka. But liberation is only possible on earth as a human being and that too with the origin of being an Indian, Bharata. Right? It is said in Bhagavata, this earth is divided into seven continents. Bhagavata says, um, um, amongst that, the only place where people are uh, spiritual and seeking spirituality is Bharat. Other places are Punya Bhumis. They enjoy their Punya. They enjoy their Punya. But spiritual evolution is not so easy. Right? So, this Having got this human birth, we should seek it at the right place. Where is it in one place, right place you can get? Let us see. These together, Abhyudaya and Nishresa together is called the wealth that you need. Wealth in Sanskrit is called Bhaga. The one who has both is called Bhagavan. And details of him, knowing him through anecdotes and trying to appreciate him through the stories of his devotees, they are all called Bhagavata. They are all called Bhagavata. How Bhagavan has this see, this uh, Abhyudhya and Nishreyasa. The very definition is Aishwaryasya. Starting itself is Aishwarya. Here also. Aishwaryasya, Samagrasya, Dharmasya, Yashasriyaha, Jnana Vairagyamcha, Shanna Iti Bhaga, Shanna Iti. Himavindu, help me, Shanna Iti. Okay. Aishwarya Samagrasya Dharmashi Yashasriya Jnana Vairagya Siddhyatam Jnana Vairagya Ah, uh, here uh, Jnana Vairagya Shanna Bhaga Itirina Itirina These six are said to be Bhaga Aishwarya Real Aishwarya Bhagavan means one who has these six Aishwaryas What are they? Aishwarya means Lordship. Aishwarya comes from Ishwara Bhava is Aishwarya. Ishwara means Lord. Ishwara means Lord. Aishwarya, his Shakti, his power, the Lordship over everybody. Aishwarya. Yeah. All of us want to be rule over everybody. Everybody has this desire. So you should seek it. Dharmasya. Everybody needs rules so that you are not disturbed. Dharma you need. Without Dharma, there will be chaos. Recently, I read somewhere, because you are all Balivahar children, you can use this example. We want to be free. A kite is cut off so that it can rise freely without the thread. It went a little up and fell down. The kite which is connected to the thread lasted a long time. This thread is dharma. You want freedom without dharma, you will you may appear to rise, but you will fall down. If you hold on to dharma, you will not fall down. So Aishwarya, Dharmasya, Yashaha, all of us want good name. Taichiro Upanishad, the student itself prays for that. Student itself prays. Why good name? 
good name is not for the sake of good name what it means is i should behave in such a way i get good name i should behave in a such way i should get good name yashaha sriyaha prosperity aishwaryasya samagrasya dharmasya yashashriyaha and this this part is abhyudaya this part is abhyudaya next to two nishreyasa jnana vairagyam cha jnana vairagyam cha knowledge and dispassion so bhagavan has both abhyudaya and nishreyasa so you see kim you will get both and then you will wake up from this dream discover you are the bhagavan that you were searching that's called mukti freedom aishwarya sya dharma sya yashashriya jnana vairagyam chaiva sanna bhaga iti vina right so that bhagavatam and this bhagavata speciality is it has a right mixture in jnana marga emphasis on the intellect intellect without passion you will not get the power to fly gurudev says two wings of the bird is the head and the heart you can't fly with only one wing head and heart should be integrated into the body of the plane so therefore nana marga mostly emphasis is on knowledge intellect people only gather information they don't get the experience devotees who do not enquire who do not contemplate merely doing rituals mechanically without even love for proper love for god mechanically okay it's good but they create more confusion than good they create more confusion than good that's how so much of restlessness in the name of religion right so if you want to really fly high you need both the wings head and heart integrated that is given in bhagavata i told you the first day bhagwan the moment is born he gave this lecture to their his parents ुत्रेनुत्र yasyate madgati payuri you will reach my goal so oh, so vasudeva devaki alone can do that because krishna was born to them no all your children you can see like that all your children you can see like that because that is the truth also is there anything other than krishna that is the truth then why see differently right so that is the beauty of bhagavatam i have told you the story under what situations and now the dialogue is between suta and shaunaka shaunaka is asking this questions to suta pumsam ekanta shreyaha tat nah shamsasi ekanta shreyaha the ultimate good all of us at every given moment 
we have two options the pleasant and the good the pleasant and the good right now right now because somehow i in my weak moment i said i will have a class i am missing ipl what is pleasant somebody told me this is good so i am missing the pleasant for the good all right and now this is supposed to be good but somebody says next door next door guruji has come what will i do immediately i will tell all of you please excuse me we'll have the class tomorrow and go because this is present with reference to that that is good that is good so this pleasant and good are also relative what is that ultimate good that is called ekanta shreya the ultimate good please tell us what is the ultimate good and the answer is savai punso dharmo yato bhakti hi adokshate ahai suka apratihata yatha atma samprasid the ultimate good ultimate shreyas path that will make you one with god that will unite you with god is the dharma through which bhakti adokshade on the lord lord is called adokshaja it has two meanings all the time our concept of god is he is high above we are below so from that high level he is all the time seeing his devotees so ada aksha is eyes turned downwards adokshaya this is simple meaning but there is another meaning vedantic meaning who is behind the eyes the very consciousness the very consciousness so love devotion for that adokshaj what type of love what type of devotion ahai tuka unconditional unconditional and then apratihata it's not that sunday 4 to 5 love for god rest of the time i had to spend with my dog says lalita right so that is not the thing apratihata without a break then who will do my duty are all the duties that you are doing you are only serving god all of them are the forms of god now lalita is happy because dog is also god right who is not god what is not god whatever you do you only should see god in that that's all you have to do you don't have to change anything change your vision change your vision see god in all right so adokshada adokshade ahaituka apratihata yatha atma prasidati through which this self becomes peaceful quiet and receive and re, uh, reveals itself to you second question ataha sadho atra yat saram samadrutya manishya brutinah siddhadanana yenaatma sampratadi you said that oh, that bhakti that dharma which through which this self this god becomes benevolent kindly give us those details tell us how to get that the answer to that is entire second chapter first skanda 
first skanda second chapter which we are going to see all that we are going to see i am just now telling the first answer then it also says bhagavatam nama puranam brahma samhitam sarva veda itihasa nam saram samudhrutam see you wanted the essence of that it's all there in bhagavata it's all there in bhagavata third question suta janasi bhadram ne bhagavan satvatam pati devakyam vasudevasya jato yasya chikishaya anna sushrushamananam arhasi anga anga anuvarnitam asya avataro bhutanam kshemaya bhavaya cha for the welfare of the world for the benefit of gaining the other for gaining the other shreyas and prayas right shreyas and prayer for that he has taken avatar sri krishna dev in the womb of devaki and fathered by vasudeva kindly tell us all about him please describe us in detail and next for that the answer is you will get it all 10th and 11th skandhas or glories of bhagavan but one hint was given in the third chapter of the first skanda krishna stu bhagavan swayam that is there are various samshas you are also bhagavan i am also bhagavan undoubtedly but we are bhagavan in us is not manifest because all the dirt is covering him all of us are bhagavans according to the purity he will reveal right and then he takes avatar according to need uh, necessity varaha avatar the first one and then kurma avatar matsya avatar narasimha avatar various avatars it's not 10 bhagavata itself says hundreds thousands in that bhagavata gives you 30 avatars 10 for us is said because there is a logic behind it the fish in the waters felt uncomfortable and bound by that situation revolted and then became the top toys which can go in both water and land that thought i am going only horizontally so it became varaha and then it wanted to be human being suddenly it cannot become half man half lion then a human being yet receiving and therefore dwarf then grown up but with lot of kshatriya bhava parashurama then quiet calm maryada purushottama sri rama then the one who doesn't hide his divinity krishna who makes all things known to everybody rama conceals his divinity krishna and then buddha kalpi these are the 10 avatars there is a sequence and amongst them rama and krishna are supposed to be purna avatars because rama is born in surya vansha surya has 12 forms 12 digits rama had all those 12 qualities therefore purna avatar chandra chandra vamsha krishna they had shodasha amsha shodasha kala 15 plus 1 that is the basis of the 15 shodasha kala he had all the 16 and therefore he is also purna avatar 
Now, Krishna devotee starts saying, Krishna devotee starts saying, you see, our God is more 12, uh, 16, your God is only 12. And these people say, my God, Surya, doesn't depend on Chandra. Chandra depends upon our God, Surya. This is all the immature, wasteful discussions. The whole purpose is they have all the divine aspects in them. That's all you need to know. This type of logics are all shows how shallow is your mind. Right? So, therefore it says, Krishna to Bhagavan Swayam. Krishna is God himself. Tatya Karmani, fourth question. Udarani, Parigitani, Surubi, Bruhina. Please tell us all his activities. Again, 10th and 11th skanda, we will come to that. Fifth question. Atha, Akyahi, Arehe, Dharman, Navatarakata. Please tell us, Lord Vishnu's Avatarakata. They are all enumerated in first skanda, third chapter. In the second skanda, seventh chapter, we'll see them. Sixth and last question. Bruhi Yogeshwari Krishna, Brahmanye Dharma Varmani Swam, Kastha Madhunapeti, Dharma Dharmaha Kastaranam Gataha. Krishna was there, he was protecting Dharma because that's what he said. Yada Yadahi Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata, Abhyutana Madharmasya Tadatmanam Sujamyam. So he was protecting Dharma. Now Krishna has gone. Who protects Dharma? Where did Dharma take shelter? Whom, where did, whom did Dharma take refuge? It says, Krishna Swadhamo Apagati Dharma Nyanadi Bihisaha Kalau Nasta Drusham Yesha Puranam Arpo Adhana Vudikaha Krishna Krishna himself, along with Dharma Gnanadis, for short-sighted people in Kali Yuga, has taken the form of Bhagavata. Bhagavata is Sakshat Krishna Swarupa. Right? Shabda Brahman. Shabda Brahman. So Bhagavata is nothing but Krishna. So, Dharma is protected by Bhagavata. If these Puranas are not there, these Itihasas are not there, these people who preach these Puranas and Itihasas are not there, what would be our fate? Therefore, Dharma is protected by these Puranas. Out of them, the greatest being Bhagavata Prat. Now, how does it do? Technique. Beautiful, the technique of making the normal human being God. How does it do? How does Bhagavata do that? Vasudevam Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Ha Prayojita Ha Janayati Asu Vairagyam Jnanam Cha Yat Ahai Tukam When you have devotion to God, Vasudeva, Son of Vasudeva. When you have devotion to Vasudeva, immediately in you, Vairagya, this passion to the world and knowledge comes to you without any difficulty, beyond logic. You get it. You have devotion. You get Vairagya and Jnana, which are the two things, Viveka and Vairagya, you need to get Mukti. Viveka and Vairagya. You get it the moment you have devotion. How? Is that true? Can you verify? Can you verify? 
when you go to temple our people have purposefully put this there this is what gurudev opened our eyes lot of obscene uh, sculpt uh, things also there right figures obscene how many of you stood there and saw all of them right because your mind is in god it cannot go anywhere else at that time you don't think of the next person who is wearing what at that time your mind is not running to ice cream when you are seeing bhagwan vairagya is spontaneous you don't put put any effort you don't put put any effort and when he is there mind is quiet and calm he reveals himself to you gnana therefore bhakti effortlessly produces these two ingredients which gives you mukti what is that gnana and vairagya श्रृण्वताम स्वकता कृष्ण पुण्यश्रवण कीर्तन हृदय अंतस्थ अभद्रा विधुनोति सो ब्यूटिफुल यू मस्ट ऑल आई प्रे टू ऑल ऑफ यू लर्न अ लिटिल सांस्कृत फ्रॉम हिम बिंदु एंड ट्राई टू एंजॉय दीज वर्ड्स बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एक्साजरेटिंग एज आई एम रीडिंग दीज मै मैंड इज going to samadhi uh, even as i read this so it's so beautiful the words that are put there you cannot enjoy them without the original that much why don't you sing twinkle twinkle little star in tamil each one has tamil songs cannot cannot have that beauty in english english certain things are beautiful only in english certain things in sanskrit are beautiful only in sanskrit right so what does it say shrunvatam sukhatam krishna punya shravana kirtana hrudi antastah abhadrani vidunoti surutsatam as you listen to the glories and stories of bhagavan all the dirt in you is cleansed and washed up as you listen to his stories the dirt in you is cleansed first step and therefore hearing is important and what does it say there is a beautiful word in the third skanda what is bhagavata shruta ikshita patha the path seen by the ears path seen by the ears enna ide edo parava illa nu bhagavatham kekkaranna nam enna kaadula poova vechirpom kaadunala paarkkaradhu kannu da paarkku kaadunala eppadi paarkkaradhu shruta ekshita patha okay now i am going to tell a few words when i tell this that form should not come before you please take care pot the form should not come pen right pan form should not come chair table husband when you say the name the form must come before you so shruta ikshita when you are talking about bhagavan 
division happens inside. Sruta ikchita pata. Nasta prayeshu. What did it say? When you listen, all the dirt is washed off. Then the second step. Nasta prayeshu. Abhatreshu. Nityam bhagavata sevaya. Bhagavati uttama sloke. Bhakti hi bhavati naishtiki. As the impurities are cleansed off. Naishtiki. Uninterrupted. Bhakti. To the uttama sloka. To the uttama sloka. Through continuously seeking him, serving him, Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya, that happens in you. The Abhadras are cleansed off through hearing. And when the Abhadras are cleansed off, the Bhakti manifests. Second step. Right? This is the second step. Now, there the word used is Adokshaja. Here the word is used, Uttama Sloka. These two words are often used. Uttama Sloka on whom great praises are uh, showered. Uttama Sloka. Right? How is that relevant? As you hear his glories, your mind, just like when I said chair, the mind takes the form of the chair. When you sing his glories, your mind takes those divine forms and the mind itself becomes the form of God. So therefore, the praises, stutis of Bhagavan are very important. Tada, then what happens? Rajas tamo bhavaha, kama lobaha adayasya ye cheta yetaihi anavidham sitam. Satve prasidati. After that, the rajas and tamo, tamas, kama, lobaha, desire and greed, adayascha, etc., etc., yetaihi anaviddham, uninterrupted and unaffected by them. Satve prasidati. Mind rests in sattva guna. Rajo guna, tamo guna have been cleansed. Yevam. Prasanna Manuso Bhagavad Bhakti Yogataha Bhagavad Tattvam Vijnanam Mukta Sangat Sijayate. Thus, the one who has gone through this process, through the Bhakti Yoga, Bhagavad Tattvam, the essence of Bhagavan, Vijnanam, as an experience in you, not merely intellectual knowledge, Mukta Sangaha. Freed from all attachment to the false world of names and forms. Jayate, this happens in you effortlessly. Where else is it so pleasant and good? Nana Marga. Firstly, what is Nana Marga? They say Sravana Manana Nididhyasana. You sit for Sravana, only at that time all other unwanted thoughts come. Headache comes. Lot of people get migraine. Right? And then manana. Swamiji should say the, all these things very beautifully. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. You suddenly think of Krishna Rao, who owes you 500 rupees. This, right? Manana. Nidhi Dhyasana. Impossible. Nana Marga. Because the vasanas are so much. Karma Marga, it's a communist theory. You do the work, results you give it up. Who will have interest? I work and Balaji takes the results. Who will have interest? Karma Marga, it's only Bhakti, everything is pleasant. You hear his story is interesting. See his form, beautiful, listen to music, smell the udibhati, taste the prasadam. Everything is beautiful. Total integration. Total integration. For the integration only, they said, shama, dama, etc. Impractical. In bhakti, effortless. 
in bhakti it is effortless therefore what is this mukti bhagavata quotes mundaka upanishad bhagavata quotes this quotation in bhagavata comes in three four places with a slight one word difference vidyate hrudaya grandhi chidyante sarva samshaya chiyante chasya karmani drushta eva atmani ishvare vidyate hrudaya grandhi the knots of the heart are cut asunder the knots of the heart are cut asunder what are the knots of the heart why it's called knot knot because it binds you what are they avidya kama karma ignorance because of the ignorance of spirituality you think you are inadequate therefore to make you adequate desires kama avidya kama to procure your desires karma these three only bind you avidya kama karma vidyate hrudaya grandhi these three knots are cut asunder through jnana chidyante sarva samshaya all your doubts have been pierced chidyante chatya karmani his vasanas are all exhausted how drushta eva atmane ishvare having seen that ishvara in one's own self you have no more interest in to this filthy world of objects and then the hrudaya grandhi is cut asunder all your doubts are gone that is the purpose of moksha shastra of in uh, the, the the pinnacle of this moksha shastra is bhagavata purana do not say because i am talking bhagavata i am telling this uh, i quoted you the first day itself shankara in vivek chodamani says moksha sadhana samagriyam bhakti reva garisi the advaita master himself says that so you can't blame me for that right so with that the first chapter i told you the other story that you know he met dharma and all that and put the uh, snake and all that uh, all that story you now know there are two things there are beautiful in the uh, first chapter three things when this ashwatthama has killed all the paich uh, upa pandavas arjuna ties him to the chariot brings to draupadi to kill him because that what draupadi said whoever has killed my children bring him and when he says it is ashwatthama see the greatness of women in our culture what does she say muchata muchata yesha brahmano nitaram leave him leave him he is not none other than your guru because guru son is guru marodi dasya janani gautami pati devata yataham mrutavastha e mrutavastha arta rodi rodisya rodis sorry rodi rodi nyachramukhi e muhu let not his mother gautami krupacharya's wife not weep like me for losing her sons he has killed five of her children and she says leave him he is none other than the guru let his mother not weep like me what a glorious culture that is uh draupadi and then kunti's prayer is extraordinary then bishmas 827 so we will do those two things tomorrow in the first skanda kunti's prayers and bishmas tomorrow we'll do and now we will have a bhajan from lalita गुरु वायुर्पुर श्री हरि कृष्णा नारायण गोपाल गुरु वायुर्पुर श्री हरि कृष्णा नारायण गोपाल मुकुंद माधव मुरलीधारी 
ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಮುರಳೀಧಾರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶಂಖಚಕ್ರ ಪೀತಾಂಬರಧಾರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶಂಖಚಕ್ರ ಪೀತಾಂಬರಧಾರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಮುರಳೀಧಾರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಮುರಳೀಧಾರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುಗತ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಲಲಿತಾ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ detaching that and uh, putting into the uh, google drive this video ah uh, only harsha can do that uncle harsha because it is ah uh, it is recording on her cloud uh, but she also cannot do only uh. shilpa or uh, uday can do ask okay. shilpa to do every day she will do it okay uncle I'll because our, mm. our santosh amma mm, 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 mm. she is waiting for this okay i'll you ask shilpa to do it even okay. if she goes to america she can do it okay okay uncle i'll because speak planning to go okay. america or uh, england wherever she goes she can do 